Hello, my name is Alina Faulkner, and this is my week seven presentation for MPA 585 with Dr. Powell. In this video, I will discuss three methods of tax avoidance, how they work in terms of reducing taxpayer liability and connection to people I know. So to start, there are two basic principles of tax avoidance, postponement of taxes and taking tax advantage of differences in tax rates for different types of income. My three examples do focus on the latter. The first example of tax avoidance I want to discuss stems from the Starbucks video that we watched this week. In quick summary, the speaker explained how larger corporations can reduce annual profits through intercompany interest charges, uh, royalty agreement fees, or claiming past losses. My CPA every year goes through all of the motions to calculate allowable deductions or costs uh, to reduce our profits. So payroll cost is our biggest expense. There is also depreciation for assets such as uh, fleet vehicles and expensive equipment that we need for the business. Um, costs related to health care insurance we deduct. There's a lot. There's a lot that we take off to reduce our profit. But it works because the less profit that we show on taxes, the less uh, you know corporate tax that we have to pay. Next, um, I just want to mention this type of tax shelter doesn't only exist for businesses. On a personal side, everyday people, as in all my family members and myself, we all take advantage of a common middle class tax shelter, um, basically known as mortgage interest payment deduction. So one of the perks to buying a home is the deductions that come along with that um, and these different deductions you can claim on your taxes that renters don't have the advantage of claiming. Um, this deduction benefits the individual greatly since they are allowed to reduce their total income by the amount of interest they paid on their mortgage, equaling a lower tax liability. But it does result in economic distortion because mortgage deductibility results in higher expenditure on housing. My last example is income shifting. There are several ways to do this, but basically the income uh, that you earn is shifted to someone else and then they have to pay tax on that income, not you. So for example, my grandfather, he got divorced and he's very wealthy and in this divorce he was ordered to pay alimony to his ex-wife. So even though he earned the money the tax liability on that on that dollar amount, the tax liability shifted to her by way of the alimony payment. And she has to pay taxes on that money. Um, this helps him because it reduces his income and in return then reduces you know, the amount of taxes that he has to pay at the end of the year. So that's pretty much it. The common thread in all three examples um, is tax avoidance. And as discussed in chapter 24 of our textbook, um, this tax avoidance, it's basically, you know, moving income from a higher tax category to a lower tax category in the efforts of trying to reduce the tax liability for the individual or for the company. Um, so thank you. Merry Christmas to all and God bless.